Good afternoon, Jason here. Today is January 21st, and this is your aftermarket update. All right, so we had a good day here at the Oil Trading Group, a good day that could have been a better day, but it was a good day nonetheless. And what I'm referring to specifically is this uh, issue that has been plaguing me uh, for the better part of a week now. So let me explain what that issue has been. I have been unable to win my very first trade on the day. In some cases, it's two or three trades that I can't win, and it puts me in the hole to start the day. Eventually, as has been the case, I've been able to get out of it with that one big move uh, that we tend to find in the oil market on a daily basis, but it's still aggravating nonetheless to get out to that choppy start. So it really hasn't mattered whether it's been this particular setup or another particular setup or if I have waited to trade very early in the in the after the open or I've waited an hour or so after the open. It's just been one of those things that has plagued me for the past week where I have been unable to capture that first winning trade. That happened to me again here today. Um, I looked, so let's take a look at the charts here for a second. So I was looking in this area. Uh, let's just grab this here. So this is a 15 minute chart. And so when we came down after the open, open is, let's, let's do this. Let's, uh, well, yeah, let's make a line. We'll draw a horizontal line here at the open, a vertical line rather here at the open. Okay. So there, that's a little bit hard to see, but um, we'll make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so there is your opening price, right? So after the open, you can see that we look like we were chopping around in a zone here, but you can see that we made this attempt underneath our minor uh, level here, support level, and this is one. So this was one attempt, two attempts. We made a third attempt, and then on attempt number four, I was fairly convinced that we were going to be heading lower on the day. Well, obviously that wasn't the case and the market rallied up. So I took a, I took an, a, a trade in this area that did not quite work out. Uh, I had a 70.5 that I was looking back at. And you know how I like these 70.5s. We take this down to here and it wasn't quite that high. I think I was looking at it actually on a five minute chart, but let's just, it's gonna be pretty closely represented right here. So I took, I took a trade here, it was around the 30 level. Um, it actually hit and no filled me, came down, came back up, I got in short again, and then I wrote it down to this 04, 05, thinking we were gonna come down into this support zone again. So I ended up not taking enough out of that trade. Then you back this up into the day's high down to today's low, and I had a, a short here at 56 that ended up taking me out. Okay, so. That was how my day started. So I started out with a few losing trades and I started out behind uh, the curve, if you will, uh, to get the day. One of the things though, um, I'm gonna show you is our OTG trade of the day. And I talked about the OTG trade of the day as about 10 minutes prior to the open. So if this is the open here, about in this area, about 10 minutes prior, I, I began to talk about this particular setup uh, that I was going to take today. Now. I took a couple of attempts at it. We came up through here. I got stopped out. I looked to get long. Uh, I got to break even. And then I got long again, and it came out and took me out at plus five. And then we had the inventory report, which is this candle right here. We dipped all the way down to 29 and then came back up here to 40. So I'm going to drop this down to a three-minute chart. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to drop this down to a three-minute chart, and you're going to be able to see once we came down into the ETH price and settlement today, which is at this 35. So let me just, uh, we'll show, the, show you this here. You can see that right there is settlement, that pink line. It also happens to be our ETH session, session price today. Once we came down after the inventory number uh, and then we tested settlement, I looked to get long out of because we had touched into this area here 76 77 i gave it a little bit of variance uh in terms of what i actually say to you on the video about where i was going to get long i gave it a little bit of variance because we were in the inventory report and if you take this down just a little bit further to the one minute chart you'll be able to see a little bit in more granular detail what i'm referring to as we let this chart catch up okay so we come back here Okay, 
So you had this big rally up and this pullback, it's even hard to see it here. So anyway, you had a little bit of a rally up and this bar pulled back into 54. So once we pulled up and back into 54, uh, this is where we got long. And that was part of our uh, OTG uh, trade of the day. What we did is we rode this from 54 up to 06. So that is 52 ticks. And we ended up catching a majority of that. We added to the position on the way up and to take us out there at the 06. So when right before I show you the OTG trade of the day, I'm going to let you listen to the two or three minutes of maybe it's not even that long. Maybe it's a minute and a half, two minutes of the analysis that we did this morning, explaining why we were going to be getting into the long here out of this zone. And that ended up working out. So one of the things, the other things that we talked about in the room today, and we did not execute this, we had made, uh, we finished up uh, 68 ticks on the day. And uh, I ended up not trading again. We said 29.58 to 65 would be a short. This is on your OTG trade plan. This trade plan comes out about an hour and a half to two hours prior to the market opening. And in some cases, it's out four or five hours prior to the market opening. But we had 29.58 to 29.65 with the sweet spot being 29.65 as your potential short area. So as the market rallied into this 58 to 65, uh, let's see, that's 06. So this is so it's up in this area here. So as the market rallies up into 65 is right here. OK, so that is the high right here on this bar. We said that was the sweet spot, 65. It actually pulls up to 69, four ticks before it fails down to 39. So this little area from 69 down to 39 is 20. Uh, let's see, 69 down to 39 is 30 ticks and 26 ticks is where you would have been if you'd gotten short at the trades plan sweet spot at the uh, 65 area, right? There's the sweet spot on your trade plan. That would have taken you down uh, just about 25, 26 ticks. That was enough for you to get to break even before that rally then continued all the way up here uh, to the next area on your chart. So I'm going to bring this back to the 15 minute chart here. So the next the next area short on your chart, I don't know if you can see this or not, so we expand this. The next area of short, the sweet spot was 3021. So once you got this sweet spot and it didn't work out, then you were holding on for the next sweet spot of 3021 on your trade plan up to 3021. So the market you can see then rallies up through that area and comes all the way up to 3025. That's the high on the day. That's four ticks off of that area. It then fails all the way down to 53. So 30.25 minus, uh, what is that, 29.53. That's a 72 tick move from this high uh, down to the low. And this was called on your OTG trade plan today well in advance. So another day here where your trade plan uh, really comes to fruition and, and helps uh, helps. Uh, give you another good trading opportunity. Now, I did not take that trading opportunity. Uh, as you can see, let me squeeze this in. As you can see here from the uh, results section window up here, uh, I had a trade of 60, 60, 68 ticks positive on the day after 100. I think I was down about 60 ticks. So it's about 128, 130 tick OTG trade of the day. So again, like we've talked about in the room, we've talked about this many times. You can have losing trades as long as you're continuing to follow your plan and following your ideas on the day losing trades are part of the program and again we were able to turn uh, those losing trades into a nice handsome winning day um, and you could see where we are uh, on the day here so i'm going to let you listen to the analysis that we went through this morning at 750 uh, about getting long out of this area here which ended up being our otg trade of the day and you can at least see that I did that. Uh, we had that discussion well in advance, and we were able to execute that plan as we continued on uh, through the trading day. So without further ado, here is that OTG trade of the day. If we get over the center point at around 54, and we get up to 67 and possibly 76, then I'd be looking to buy back, fade back and buy the center point area at uh, around that 54 i'd be looking to as that as a possibility uh today 
I would be looking for that as a possibility. 54, and I'm in at 54 long, and my stop here is 13 ticks to 41. Okay, I'm still anticipating that push, this same push that we were looking for earlier, and just to actually finish this time. Add one at 86 and 96, and 94 rather, 86 and 94. Okay, stop is at break even now because of the volatility stops at break even. Still looking for that same move up. The target will take uh, three off at 29.06. Okay, three off at 06, and then I'll add again at 16. We'll see if this goes 16. Actually, we'll add at 19, 21, and 36. 31 and 36. Okay, I'm in a break even now on the stop. Break even plus one at 55 is my stop. I'm adding. I'm adding one at 86 and 94, and then I'm looking to take it off. Okay, let's bring the trail stop here now to 50 to 64. Okay, then I'm looking to take it off at 06 up top. Okay. You've got liquidity at 85 and 90 above you. There's 78, 79. Let's see if we can muscle through this 80 level. Stop right now is at 64. Come on, get through 79, 80. Adding at 87 and 94. And the target is 06 still. The target is 06. So I'm still looking for this continued push that we talked about earlier bring this trail stop right now to 59 i'm gonna this volatility i want to stay in there's 78 79 80 okay i add it again bringing the trail stop here to 87 to 67 uh we got to 90 you got 208 up there at 95 add that one at 90 yeah 93 94 rather there's 94 so i've got four on 06 is the target now Three off at 06. There's a there's 90 29 zero, zero. Bring this trail stop to 88 here on four. Get up through zero zero. Come on, fight your way. There's one two. We're taking three off at 06. There's a 405, and I got one left. Right, and now the trail stop here is at 95, and I'm out. Actually, it took me out, so I'm out. All right, so you can see that uh, we called that plan. Uh, prior to the market opening, and it wasn't until after 10 a.m. Central Time that we were able to successfully execute the plan. We had tried a couple of times before. We would got taken out at uh, break-even plus one on one trade, and then we got out at plus five on the next one. And then finally, uh, that plan was executed. It was right after uh, the CL inventory report today. So we were able to get that plan executed, and we were able to end up with a uh, really nice OTG trade of the day. So again, uh, while we did start out in the hole today, uh, and that happens, we were able to uh, successfully regain um, all of the ground and double up again uh, based on our ability to add to winning positions and carry them to the target. So again, it was a very nice day here at the Oil Trading Group, and we've had a series of those here recently. So as always, I want to say thank you for spending time watching the OTG Trade of the Day. And until tomorrow, I want to wish you good luck and good trading.